by Future IT. Hi guys. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a network topology. I'm gonna be making a wide area network, and um, and then configure it with CLI or command line interface. So without further ado, let's get started. So I will just go with the Cisco Packet Trader Student. So it's a free version. Make sure to click the link in the description below if you haven't installed the Cisco Packet Tracer yet. I will provide a video for that for you how to uh, showing how to install and download Cisco Packet Tracer Student. So the first thing you'll need to do in this Cisco Packet Tracer will be making a wide area network. So I'm gonna making two consist of two LANs. So I'm gonna be selecting the router and then 2811 two routers two generic switch two generic computer so um, it is a LAN and LAN so to make a wide area network you must do have two LANs so we have two lands and then join this sorry for that and then join this lands right here can be uh can make a wide area network so it's a LAN 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 and if we will go into join the two lands it can result to one or a wide area network so to connect the this with connection go and select the Cooper straight through for the PC and select the select the fast Ethernet 0 and fast is Ethernet 0 slash 1 for the switch and then the PC to switch go with the first fast Ethernet first fast Ethernet and the fast Ethernet fast Ethernet and then fast Ethernet so to connect uh, the routers with each other to connect router 0 to router 1 now we'll just arrange it like that arrange that um. now it's good so make sure to arrange that so we can use the automatically so we can use the automatically choose connection type but that is not the best uh, choice that is not the best uh, thing to do so the first so the best thing to do to connect these two routers is to go in the router and turn the router off and drag weak duty and turn the router back on and do the same thing with the second router turn this off drag weak duty and turn this on I almost forget that and close so we can now use the serial DCE and select serial the first serial port and then the first serial port so we've made it and um, that's all for this video so to, con to configure it with a CLI tab be sure to continue watching by clicking the link in the description below for the part 2 of this tutorial and hey guys thanks for watching and if you didn't subscribe to my channel yet be sure to subscribe because I am making 
a very useful content for the computer savvy and for all of those inf information technology students. So be sure to continue watching by clicking the link in the description. I have the part 2 video for this tutorial.